We're here at Arena's A-Lab at the beautiful Melbourne Museum for a two-day innovation workshop. We've got top thinkers from across the energy world and we're asking them to collaborate and think creatively to come up with proposals about how they might implement grid orchestration. It's a partnership with Energy Networks Australia, who earlier this year put out a roadmap on how we might transform the electricity sector in Australia. We're seeing an energy system in Australia that's making room for increasing numbers of distributed energy resources. These are things like solar panels, home battery systems and electric vehicles that give individual consumers more control and say over the energy they use. But they also make the system more complex, which means we need to find new ways to coordinate how we include them so that the system as a whole and individual consumers can benefit. Energy Networks Australia is really excited to be part of this process, to be here today to get the ideas that we're going to see coming out of this A-Lab. Our roadmap outlines what might happen in the future over the next one or two decades in terms of the rapidly transforming energy system we have. We know sort of where we want to get to, but no one's exactly sure on how we get there. There's lots of ideas floating around, lots of collaboration between a variety of different players and they're going to gel into about six or so concrete proposals that are going to put forward to the Dolphin Tank export panel that I'm happy to be on this afternoon. And hopefully we're going to see out of that a few that can really go forward and start to make a difference to the system. We've been working on a project that we're calling SMURF, which stands for Smart Management of Under Frequency. And this is all about how we manage very extreme events on the grid in the future. So we're looking at a way of using smart systems to manage very extreme system events and prevent system black. Our idea is a really big one. Uh, we're actually trying to work out how we can make the whole state of South Australia 100% solar powered. Customers are installing solar panels to reduce their costs, and that's great at the moment, but as they install more and more, eventually it's gonna to get to the point where it just won't work anymore. It'll threaten the security of supply in the state. So in 10 years time, we need to have come up with some solutions on that and we need to start right now. Now more than ever, there's an increasing number of distributed energy resources, such as rooftop solar and battery. So our idea was to develop a swarm-based operating system or platform that enables the coordination of all these resources together, viewing the energy system as a school of fish. So as an example, when there's a shark attack, all the fish automatically disperse and know the exact distance they need to be from each other, from the shark. So our operating platform would automatically self-learn so that they can provide immediate real-time response when there's an emergency event such as a storm approaching. So for customers, that means not only a more reliable and resilient network, but also lower costs for all customers because we're increasing the efficiency of the existing network. So the project is the community transition to microgrid trial. What that involves is trying to develop and, and trial a project for the communities on the outer fringes of the network and help the transmission companies as well look at those outer fringes. So it'll allow the customers to have informed choices, but also the networks as well about how they want to uh, create the grid out there, use their resources out there and also consume as well. The project we're working on is called iLab. It's a consumer insights lab. Great projects that come through A-Lab or Arena or from the industry can actually be litmus tested with real life consumers. Coming from a body that represents consumers nationally, we feel really passionate about the idea that consumers have a lot to add in this market. They know what they want, they're prepared to voice those ideas and they'll bring real benefits back to innovators. If you think about the vernacular, how that's changed now, we're really talking about the customer and how do we get the customer engaged and how do we make life better for the customer is really showing how the, this industry in itself has just pivoted away from thinking about just the technology to actually the focus on the consumer and making the consumer a central part of really everything we're trying to do. Today's A-Lab session was really terrific. There are many people who are directly involved in, in some of the networks, so steeped in technical and regulatory detail. Uh, very ambitious projects, but very necessary. Now what happens with these ideas is we carry them forward. They get carried forward in two ways. One is through the collaborations that have been formed in the session today, so people will keep working together. 
The other is as a way to fund new experiments. So ARENA will put some money in together with some of the external parties and actually explore these ideas in much greater detail and drive to an outcome.